right. I, it just seems weird that complaining about leaks gets leaked. And I mean, these are some doozies. By now, you've heard everything about uh, Anthos Garamucci that you want to. And I could repeat and show the leaked material, but I won't because, well, this is a family show. And I didn't think that would be appropriate. So I'll repeat word for word what he said. No, uh, we have Fox Business Network, Charlie Gasparino here. Uh, no shrinking violet. He, <laughs> independent women's voice, Lauren Zell. All right, Lauren, let me begin with you on this idea. This was all meant to, uh, on the part of Scarmucci to crack down on leaks. But then that conversation in its totality gets leaked, which was the yeah. case anyway because of the fair interview with a journalist who said there was no such guarantee that it would not be. Correct. Where is this going now? Because I suspect we'll get even more leaks. Yeah. Well, first, you know, I should say that the language that he used in that interview is not even polite language for a private conversation, let alone an on-the-record interview with a reporter. So I hope that that lesson has been learned at this point. Um, I'm hopeful that this will stop the leaks because you saw that the backlash um, to this article coming out has been swift and it's been severe. Um, he has been forced to, you know, issue a, a, something of an apology tweet. And so what my hope well, is... Well, it really wasn't an apology. Yeah, right? it was a kind of a half apology tweet a little bit, right? But I, what my hope is is that they can really use this experience to evaluate playing fast and root, loose with the rules of journalism. They're in place for a reason. None of this would be happening if he had said that this is off the record. Right, and no, had I thought of that too. And he's new at this. He's new at this, so I'll give him the benefit yeah. of the doubt. But Charlie Gasparino, I always think the only guy you have to keep happy is is your boss the president forget Absolutely. about what the media thinks forget about what other people are saying if if, if, if the big guy is happy with you and he appears to be uh, you're okay for now is he uh, I, I I think so that's what I'm hearing he's okay and by the way th I will say this I'm not saying I condone this type of language but you know yeah, far be that for, would be a mighty far, glass house far, for you to yeah, be far be it for me that, that you know sure. you know a bunch of guys get together and start talking and right. you know he was talking to a man he was not talking to a woman and maybe that sounds sexist but you know oh, I think that Charlie. there's no, I think that there's decor, all, no. I, no I'm just telling you that guys talk like this sometimes <laughs> it, it is does doesn't it is. make it right though I'm not saying it's right it's not right because it's <laughs> a, way, a reporter yeah. but yeah. where do you get this idea that well guys talk like this this is like that videotape that came out and then everyone said well, everyone listen, talks like that I in the know, locker room. Not in my locker room. Listen, my okay. dad my dad was a construction worker. Oh, here we go. Ex Marine from <laughs> so the So you're saying what? If <laughs> Donald I've Trump heard it all. I know what you're saying that you're not offended, but let's say that this is at all the big deal it is. Uh, I, I I think Lauren has a very good point. I think that that however others are offended, if, if Donald Trump is not, for now, that's okay. My only point with Donald Trump is this. Listen, this is not what you should be wasting your time in at. This is my bigger point if you're a White House communications director, just getting into these Fair petty enough. arguments and petty investigations about petty leaks. We're not talking about national security. We're like, who said what to whom about right. some ridiculous dinner somewhere. Yeah. That's stupid, and that's not what he should be doing, Thing uh, focusing uh, that, his time on. I think on. you're right. And well, let Lauren, me tell you uh, Go ahead. One other thing I would say is that Donald Trump uh, is very volatile, and he his loyalty to you lasts about, you know, you know, blow, you know blows with the wind. I, I mean, I'm telling you, if he thinks that he could just keep doing if Anthony thinks he can keep doing this and stay in Trump's grace, we don't know. Yeah, you can set up baptism right. by fire. It is what it is. But, but uh, Lauren, I'm just wondering, though, there is a problem with leaks at the White House. That's undeniable. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm wondering if, if that's ever going to get under control, if people are still pointing fingers. Because you always try to isolate where the leaks are coming from. You get right. ideas. No one needs it. breeds paranoia. I don't mm -hmm. see that environment changing. It might, but what do you think? Well, you know, these these kind of conversations back and forth between staff, this is pretty common for a political organization. What's not common is to have it play out in the press. And that's the big difference here. Could, but you know why? You know why it doesn't generally? Because most White House press offices don't care about these these incidental things that get leaked out. By the way, it's well, unless things they're like out of control. So unless they well, get out of control. It, it, this, right, not a malicious, this is not a malicious leak. The fact that someone has dinner is not bad. As a matter of fact, you'd rather, be, you'd rather have... The press writing about that. This some, article something about Russia. wasn't a leak. It was a genuine oh, no. article where right. he talked right. to he the reporter. The and all. Right. But I understand. But uh, Lauren, then finally, do you see this escalating, or do you see, you know, Scarmucci and of course, uh, Ryan Spivas were on the plane with the president today, going they out were. to Long Island. So obviously, he told them to both come or suggested yep. it. Um, so where do you <laughs> see this going? Well, you know, I'm an eternal optimist. I'm really hoping that they can learn from this situation and think, you know, look, they learned the lesson the hard way. Sometimes in okay. life you have to learn lessons the hard way, and I'm hoping that it will be better moving forward. All right.
Thank you. Uh, and, thank you. And thank you both for keeping your language in check. <laughs> Charlie, this is the best I you I could do. Yeah. Lauren, I had no doubt. I had no doubt. You, Charlie. All right, guys, thank you very much. And Mila